I'm attempting to make a quick version of this video. I've made several failed attempts at making it quick before this. Okay, I take back all of my apologies to Quintka. All of them. I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, over the past year, I've lost over 15, uh, uh, 15 of my gay friends and minority friends have uncircled me because I wasn't calling Quintka out on his shit. You know, I... I give some people way too many chances. And it's funny how there are others that say that, well, um, you need to keep giving them chances. And then there's people on the other side saying, um, I would have, I would have said fuck that guy a long time ago. It's interesting how that works. You know, when I'm told that it's some horrible thing because I have alienated, uh, half a dozen, you know, half a dozen is six. Okay, I've alienated like six people for spewing bullshit. Six people out of these millions of people here on YouTube. Billions, even. But people are upset with me because I have blocked six people. Seriously? Quintka isn't worth it. He's not worth my... He's not worth my time. He's not worth my emotions. And I've had enough of spending that time and emotions on him. There are a number of people I have continued to go back and give chances to who I should have just dumped like that. When people show that they have some really shitty positions on things, some really judgmental, nasty, uh, misogynistic, uh, fat-shaming, arrogant attitudes about things, and that any of their fake discussions are just that, fake, why should I give these people the time of day? And this is my channel. Okay, I get to run my channel how I want. If you are one of these people who shoves forth these sick, sorry, I'm, I call them sick mindsets, and you're worried I'm going to block you, well, just don't be an asshole. And if you're going to claim that you want to have a conversation, then be willing to have a conversation. Be willing to look at, at new viewpoints. Be willing to open your mind in some way. Because you know damn well I'm willing to open my mind. The thing I'm not willing to do is close my mind. Granted, I will close myself off to close-minded beliefs. I will close myself off to intolerance, to intolerant people. If you want to stretch things and call that closed-minded, go right ahead. Quintka was threatening to stalk um, uh, Lord Boxy. 
because she dared to insult him on one of my videos and demanded on Twitter that she explain herself. Okay, Quintica is a guy that he wants to be misogynistic, judgmental, bigoted, fat shaming, shaming half the population. While not wanting, while shame, while you know, shaming people, also shaming more people for trying to shame the things that are around that cause so much hardship. Let's not call out things that, that are going on in our society. Let's not call out um, really bad messages, damaging messages. Let's not call out any of that stuff. Let's not call out um, this stuff that is shoved forth in, in peer pressure, uh, in media, magazines, movies, uh, the fashion industry. Let's not call out any of that stuff. Let's just call out the people who think they need to follow it. Unless, of course, unless, of course, the things that they're feeling they need to follow is something you agree with. Anything that anyone else has to say that says, hey, you know, yeah, we might be hardwired to do this, but it would probably be best if we didn't do that. Any messages that they're saying, if it doesn't match your ideology, you're going to say, well, that goes against our nature. But if you're trying to argue something that goes against our nature, well then, anyone who tries to bring up the fact that it goes against our nature is being an idiot. I mean, the, the, it's, it's like, I mean, the, the, the thing that has me just, just steaming about this is just like, it's okay for media to shove forth that people should be anorexic looking. And I won't use uh, so, the phrase so thin that they look like they came from a concentration camp because he'll say, I'm using his talking points. Like he, like he has some sort of patent on the phrase concentration camp. Like I'm staying the points that he's making because I say that phrase. Anyway, that it's that he it, it's it's okay somehow for to push forth that someone should be rail thin, anorexic thin. Not just that we should not judge those who are thin. No, no, it's this idea that we should be that thin. Those kind of messages are just fine, that we should be that thin. But if there's any messages that shove forth that, hey, it's okay if you're fat, should be completely shunned. Because oh look, we have an obesity epidemic. We don't have a we don't have a, a starving person epidemic. Never mind the fact that most eating disorders come from people trying to come to these unrealistic standards. Never mind any of that. None of that matters. None of that matters. 
The reasons for anything doesn't matter. The way that people have reacted to things, that's the only thing that matters. He's a hypocritical twat. He truly is a misogynistic person. Truly. And this is not just some label I'm throwing out to him, you know? The thing is, people that are genuinely racist don't consider themselves racist. People who are genuinely homophobic I'm not saying he's racist or homophobic. I'm just mentioning these things. I'm trying to make a point here, okay? Um, someone who's genuinely homophobic isn't going to consider themselves homophobic. And finally, going to Quintka's thing, anyone who is a fat shamer genuinely a fat shamer is not going to consider themselves a fat shamer. And if you eventually pin them down to prove that they are, they'll defend fat shaming. Anyone who is misogynistic, genuinely misogynistic, is going to claim they're not misogynistic. Just like people who are genuinely misandric are not going to they're going to claim that they're not misandric. So it's... As there are people who throw out these words towards others that don't deserve it. There are many times where these words are given as descriptors of people because they match those words. How long is this video now? 12 minutes. I, I can't, I can't make it any shorter, I'm sorry. Quintka is one of the people who, I mean, I first found out about him through Twitter. During one of the times that I was going through one of my most, you know, I was going through a misogynistic period myself. And his tweets kind of resonated with me during those times. I didn't care how nasty he was being. It reflected my views that I had at that time. I can't fault people for wanting to make the world a better place. When we have a problem with the way that people want to make the world a better place, then the answer is to find out some way that we can actually make the world a better place. Talk about the things that might be able to help make it a better place. not just take issue with the peop the ways that some people are wanting to do this. Now, there are times where we do want to call people out on bullshit when they're when the things they're saying will make the world a better place will actually make it worse. You know, we do need to call that out. But 
But if we're if people are spending their times spending their time trying to basically make the world a worse place, what kind of shitty people are those? <laughs> <laughs>